بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال عز وجل وإذ قال عيسى بن مريم يا بني إسرائيل إني رسول الله إليكم مصدقا لما بين يدي من التوراة ومبشرا برسول يأتي من بعدي اسمه أحمد فلما جاءهم البينات قالوا هذا سحر مبين رب الشحل صدري ويسل لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفكه قولي آمين يا رب Today I want to discuss the issue of is Isa alayhi salatu wa salam in the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It has become common knowledge amongst Muslims that Isa alayhi salatu wa salam will come and he will become an ummati of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But I want to bring your attention to what we generally call the first principles, the primary principles. Before I come to the primary principles, the primary principle is that what the Qur'an states and the Qur'an is timeless, it is pre-time and it is pre-eternal and therefore what the Qur'an ta- says takes precedence. But before we come to the Qur'an, let us look at first what Mullah Qari Ali radiallahu an has said about this issue and we will look deeper on a particular narration we'll actually look at two narrations of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam in this regard that help us answer the question when Isa comes back will he be part of the ummah of Muhammad or will he be not part of the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam but he will come as a support to the Ummah of Muhammad still maintaining his Risala. So let us look firstly at this narration of the Prophet كَيْفَ أَنْتُمْ إِذَا نَزَّلَ إِبْنُ مَرْيَمْ فِيكُمْ وَإِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ The Prophet said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam كَيْفَ أَنْتُمْ How will you be that day? نَزَّلَ إِبْنِ مَرْيَمْ فِيكُمْ When Isa والسلام, the son of Mary, he descends down on you. وَإِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ And your imam will be amongst you. And in another, and to this narration, Mullah Qari Ali says, and let me give you the reference, is this book, which is the Shar of Mish, uh, Mishkat al-Masabih of Mullah Qari Ali Rahmatul Ali Marqat al-Mafatih Shar al-Mishkat al-Masabih and this is by Mullah Qari Ali Rahmatul Ali in the 10th volume in the chapter of Fitan he writes, أن عيسى عليه الصلاة والسلام لا يكون من أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. He says this hadith gives the deal that Isa alayhi salatu wasalam is not part of the Ummah of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. And I will share with you. So this is Mullaqari Ali. Now why does he say this? Because the shar of this hadith in the hadith literature itself says, كَيْفَ أَنْتُمْ إِذَا نَزَّلَ فِيكُمْ إِبْنِ مَرْيَمْ وَأَمَّكُمْ مِنْكُمْ How will you be that day when Isa a.s. comes and your ummah and your leader of your ummah will be with you? فَقُلْتُ لِأَبِي ذِعْبْ أَنَّ أَوْزَعِي حَدَّثَنَا أَنْ زُحْرِي أَنْ نَافِعْ أَنْ أَبِي حُرَيْرَ إمامكم منكم قال إبي أبي ذعب تدري ما أمكم منكم Do you understand أمكم منكم What does it mean that your ummah and your imam your imam of your ummah will be with you قلت تخبرني He said tell me what does it mean أمكم بكتاب ربكم That you will have the, your, the book of Allah with you تبارك Tabarak wa ta'ala wa sunnata nabiyyukum and the sunnah of the Prophet will be with you. So here 
in this narration the Prophet وسلم, which is an authentic narration the Prophet is saying that the Ummah and its leader will be present the Ummah and its leader will be present with the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Prophet when Isa والسلام, comes down so Isa والسلام, as Mullah Qali Ali Rahmatullah alayhi writes فِي دَلِيلٍ أَلَا أَنَّ عِيسَى عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ لَا يَكُونُ مِنْ أُمَّةِ مُحَمَّدٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ And then he goes on to say, and I'll do another longer video on this one day, where he says that, but Isa عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ is coming to support the Ummah of Muhammad صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ But he maintains his title as Rasulullah صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ Now, Let's look at another narration that perhaps makes the issue more clear. Even though Mullah Qali Ali Rahmatullah found this to be enough proof to say that the reality is that Isa Ali Wasallam will maintain his status as the Messenger of Allah as the Book of Allah itself states. And it, the Book of Allah cannot be changed. But now uh, let us look at another narration. And what a beautiful narration this is. In which... And in this narration is a very beautiful narration, a very beautiful point. So on the day of resurrection, before the day of judgment starts, everybody is waiting and people want the judgment to start because they're in difficulty and suffering. So some would say to the others, go to Adam. You know, they will say, go to Adam because he's your the father of the people. فَيَعْتُونَ Adam. وَيَقُولُنَا يَا آدَمْ أَنْتَ أَبُو بَشَرْ O oh, Adam, you're the father of human beings. خَلَقَ اللَّهُ بِيَذِيهِ Allah has created you with His own hands. وَنَفَهْ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي And He's blown His ruh into you. وَأَمَرَ مَلَائِكَةَ سَجَدُوا لَكَ And Allah has commanded the angels to do sujood to you. إِشْفَعْ لَنَا إِلَى رَبِّكَ Do you... Do shifa for us to your Lord. Ala tara ala ma nahnu fi. Do you not see, O oh Adam, what we're the state we're in, the difficulty we're in? And Adam will say no. He says, This is not my place to do this. I fear Allah. Then they will go on to the other prophets. For example, they will go to Prophet Ibrahim. They'll go to Prophet Musa. And then they will go to Prophet Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. And according to one of the narrations, it is Jesus. It is Isa alayhi salatu wasalam that points the way in the right direction. He is the one who says that go to Muhammad. He will do shifa for you. What is my point? That each one of these are the messengers of Allah and they maintain their title of messenger of Allah. At no time... Does Isa alayhi salatu wasalam get his title as the messenger of Allah relinquished? Because when they come to Jesus, they say, you are the messenger of Allah. You are the messenger of Allah. You're the one who talked to the people when you were in the cradle. And then they will come to Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi And then of course... The first narration that how will you, the Ummah of Muhammad, be when you are the Ummah and your Imam is there and the Ummah of Muhammad is seeing a miracle where Isa, one of the previous prophets, being sent down. The other reason why Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, this has to do with the inner logic of Quran, that every Ummah has to be punished by the witnessing of their messenger. Every Ummah has to be punished by the witnessing of their messenger as a messenger. Because every messenger will come as a shaheed, as a witness against his people. If you relinquish the title of messengerhood from Isa, he is no longer in that prosecution witness status on the behalf of the government of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala against his people. And he has to witness the punishment that would be coming. And so Mullah Qari Ali also says, He's not of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa The Qur'an says he's the messenger of Allah. The hadith says on the day of judgment, he will be the messenger of Allah. And the Prophet says 
and the Prophet separates Isa from the Ummah of Muhammad How will my Ummah and my the Imam of my Ummah be on that day when Isa comes down? So now this is sufficient. And when Isa comes down, his role is as a messenger. He has to witness the destruction of the people who have disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he will come down as the messenger of Allah. And if there is a messenger of Allah, by definition, it has certain conditions, which I will not go into today. But only for letting you to think about the fact that perhaps Isa والسلام, will not come as an ummati of Muhammad but as a messenger of Allah. And what does it mean that he comes down as a messenger of Allah? And so with this, let us reflect on this verse of the Qur'an where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذْ قَالَ عِيسَى بْنَ مَرْيَمْ And remember when Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, Isa ibn Maryam said, Ya Bani Israel, O Bani Israel, inni Rasulullah, I am the messenger of Allah. إِلَيْكُمْ to you, to Bani Israel. مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيَّ مِنَ التَّورَاتِ And I'm confirming of what was sent of Torah previously. وَمُبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولِ يَأْتِي مِنْ بَعْتِ And to give you the good news as a Rasul of Allah. I'm giving the good news of Ahmad صلى الله عليه وسلم. فَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمُ الْبَيِّنَاتِ When the clear signs come to them, they say, هَذَا سِحْرٌ مُبِينٌ this is maybe trickery, but it's not trickery, it's the truth. And so, Isa والسلام, is the Messenger of Allah, and there is يعني, صراحةً, قطعي, words showing he's the Messenger of Allah in the Quran and in the Sunnah of the Prophet. And it, there's no qat'i or dalil that stands against this that is as strong as saying he's not from the Ummah of Muhammad However, the question then is, have some people said, has the scholars in the said or came to the conclusion that Isa والسلام, will be of the Ummah of Muhammad Yes. Let me show you that also so that both matters are clear and you can decide for yourself. Okay? On this narration, كَيْفَ أَنْتُمْ how will you be that day? إِذَا نَزَّلَ إِبْنُ مَرْيَمْ فِيكُمْ وَإِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ On that day, Isa comes down and your Imam. So now I'd like to present to you what Mullah Qari Ali wrote in the text that he wrote. And we'll compare that with the normative text. When I mean normative text is the general understanding Muslims have. Otherwise, if there's an issue of ijma, then there's no room for discussion because these are furu'i issues smaller issues uh there is room for discussion as you'll see so you'll see the first explanation that says isa والسلام, is not part of this ummah and he will go into the arabic of why this narration means that the next narration doesn't contradict the normative contra uh, uh, the normative explanation doesn't contradict this explanation. So they both can be true. So with this in mind, now let us look at what uh, Mullah Qari Ali, he says. So I'm reading from وَإِذَا نَزَّلَ إِبْنِ مَرْيَمْ فِيكُمْ وَإِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ أَيْ مِنْ أَهْلِ دِينِكُمْ So أَهْلِ دِينِكُمْ that when Isa والسلام, comes down, he'll come down to the people of your deen. Because the word used here is imamikum. Waqila min Quraysh. And it is said that he will be from Quraysh. Huwa mahdi. Wahasil anna imamakum wahid minkum duna Isa. The imam of you will be one of you duna Isa, other than Isa. فَإِنَّهُ بِمَنْزِلَةِ الْخَلِيفَةَ Because Mahdi will be in the place of the Khalifa. Meaning when Isa a.s. comes down, who will be the Khalifa? The Mahdi will be the Khalifa. وَقِيلَ فِيهِ دَلِيلْ أَنَّ عِيسَ a.s. لَا يَكُونُ مِنْ أُمَّةِ And it is said that Isa a.s. is not part of the Ummah. 
even though there are other texts, which I won't go into right now, that also talk about this imam that is referred to here, may or may not be the Mahdi. But either way, he will be the Khalifa of the Muslims. And Isa is not going to tell the Khalifa of the Ummah of Muhammad, وسلم, you're no longer the Khalifa. I am now the pro- Isa is not going to try to overstep or, or cast shadow over the legacy of the Prophet and his Ummah. So, أَنَّ إِمَامُكُمْ وَاحِدْ مِنْكُمْ دُونَ عِيسَى عَلَيْهِ سَنَةُ وَسْلَامُ فَإِنَّهُنْ بِمَنْزِلَةِ الْخَلِيفَةَ وَقِيلَ فِيهِ دَلِيلُ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ عِيسَى عَلَيْهِ سَنَةُ وَسْلَامُ لَا يَكُونُ مِنْ أُمَّةِ مُحَمَّدٍ صلى الله عليه وسلم And this is Dalil that Isa عليه سنةُ وسلام is not in the Ummah of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم بل مقررا لملته but he comes as a helper to the Ummah of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم وَمَعِيًّا and to give help and support لِأُمَّتِهِ أُمَّتِهِ وَمَعِيًّا لِأُمَّتِهِ عَلَيْهِ سَنَةُ وَسَلَامُ وَفِي شَرِّ السُّنَّةِ قَالَ مُعْمَرْ إِنَّكُمْ إِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ and he is talking about now another شر شر السنة مُعْمَرْ says إِنَّ إِمَامُكُمْ إِنَّ إِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ قَالَ إِبْنَ أَبِي زِعْبٍ أَنْ أَبِي شِهَابٍ فَإِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ قَالَ أَبِي زِعْبْ فِي مَعْنَاهُ Your imam will be amongst you. What does it mean? فَإِمَامُكُمْ بِكِتَابِ رَبِّكُمْ وَأَمَّكُمْ بِكِتَابِ رَبِّكُمْ He will lead you with the book of Allah. That's why he's the imam. وَسُنَّةِ النَّبِيُّكُمْ صلى الله عليه وسلم so he will lead you with the book of Allah and the so he's he's already there the imam is already there wa qala qurtubi rahmatullahi alayhi fadamir minkum li isa minkum al minkum al hal and he says imam qurtubi says the damir the pronoun he uh, is going to isa is not us ay yawmikum isa hal kawnuhu min dinikum وَيَحْتَمِلْ أَنْ يَكُونَ مَعْنَا إِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ كَيْفَ حَالُكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ مُكَرَّمُونَ إِنْدَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى Meaning, one of the meanings is that how will you be that day when Isa a.s. is coming and you're being honored, the Ummah of Muhammad is now being honored by Isa a.s. to come. وَحَالْ أَنَّ عِيسَى يُنَزِّلْ فِيكُمْ إِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ إِيسَى يَقْضِي بِإِمَامُكُمْ Sorry. وَأَنَّ عِيسَى يُنَزِّلُ فِيكُمْ وَإِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ وَإِيسَى يَقْتَدِي بِإِمَامِكُمْ تَقْرِيمًا لِدِينِكُمْ So, Isa a.s. will come down and he will follow your imam, meaning in the prayers and otherwise. So the prayer being led by the imam is symbolic. And that the imam will be the Mahdi till he dies, according to some of the narrations, which when I go into detail one day, I can show that narration. فِيكُمْ وَإِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ إِسَى يَقْتَدِي بِإِمَامِكُمْ تَقْرِيمًا لِدِينِكُمْ Out of respect and kirama for your deen. وَيَشْحَدْ لَهُ الْحَدِيثِ آتَى And then the, the proof of that is in a hadith that will come, which I'm not going to go into right now. But here is إِذَا نُزِّلَ إِبْنِ مَرْيَمْ فِيكُمْ وَإِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ And your khalifa, your leader will be amongst you. And so this hadith can be taken to mean as Mullah Qali Ali Rahmatullah Ali the, and just so you know, Mullah Qali Ali is as great of a scholar as you can get. Okay, I mean this guy has written, subhanAllah, may Allah bless him, he's written on like Imam Sayyuti, prolific writer. Look at Radul Mukhtar and his other books. إِذَا نَزَّلَ إِبْنِ مَرْيَمْ فِيكُمْ وَإِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ Your imam will be amongst you. Meaning you will be a separate ummah, you'll have your own imam. Okay? And Isa alayhi salatu wasalam will pray behind your imam as respect to your ummah. And so that's why Mullah Qari Ali says that uh that what? Anna uh, imamukum wahid minkum duna isa. Your imam will be one of you other than isa. Fa innahu bi manzilatil khalifa. Because the imam will be in the place of the khalifa. 
وقيل فيه دليل على أن عيسى عليه الصلاة والسلام لا يكون من أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم and in this is the proof that Isa alayhi salatu wasalam will not be from the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasalam. Now I'll share with you the other shar, which doesn't contradict this, but it's just to balance for you the different perspectives on the same narration, different perspectives. One has emphasized that Isa alayhi salatu wasalam will be following the ummah. And the other has emphasized Yes, he will be following the ummah, but he will not be part of the ummah. So these two things I just wanted to present to you. And then with that, some other things, inshallah ta'ala, will be with you. So in one of the shar' of the hadith, it says, لَقَدْ ضَلَّ النَّبِي صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ أُمَّتِهِ عَلَى كُلِّ خَيْرٍ This is proof, he says, that the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is in all khair. وَحَذَرَهُمْ مِنْ كُلِّ شَرٍ And they have been warned of every evil. وَمِنْ ذَلِكَ إِخْبَارُهُ بِأَلَامَاتِ السَّعَةِ And amongst them are those things that have to do with the signs of the hour. أَلَّتِ تَكُونُ فِي آخِرِ الزَّمَانِ That will happen in the end times. لِأَنَّ الْإِمَانَ يَتَحَقَّقْ صِدْقُهَا مِنَ الْإِمَانِ بِالْغَيْبِ Because iman is the confirmation of of what is unseen. وَمِن تَصْدِيكِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى وَرَسُولِهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ And to confirm what comes from Allah and His Messenger. لِيُقَوِّ إِمَانُ وَيُشَاهِدُ وَيُثَبِّتُ وَيُحَسِّنْ تَعَامِلُ مَعَهَا And so that your iman becomes strong and your testification becomes, you can say, steadfast and becomes beautiful your relationship regarding that. وَفِي هَذَا الْحَدِيثِ يُخْبِرُ النَّبِي صلى الله عليه وسلم بِأَنَّ عِيسَ بْنَ مَرْيَمْ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ سَيُنْزِلُ فِي آخِرِ الزَّمَانِ In this hadith, the Prophet gave us news that Isa عليه الصلاة والسلام will come down in the end times. وَيَكُونُ تَابِعًا وَلَيْسَ مَتْبُوعًا He will come following not being followed. فَيَقُولُ النَّبِي صلى الله عليه وسلم So the Prophet said, كَيْفَ أَنْتُمْ وَإِذَا إِذَا نَزَّلَ إِبْنَ مَرْيَمْ فِيكُمْ يَعْنِي How will you be that day when Isa عليه الصلاة والسلام comes amongst you? كَيْفَ حَالُكُمْ مَا لَكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ مُكَرَّمٌ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى How will you be that day where you will be honored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? عِنْدَمَا يُنَزِّلُ نَبِيُّ اللَّهِ عِيسَى عَلَيْهِ صَلَةُ وَسْلَمْ At that time when Isa عَلَيْهِ صَلَةُ وَسْلَمْ comes down. وَإِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ And your imam is amongst you. And this is exactly the point that Mullah Qari Ali says, your imam and your ummah is being separated from Isa. But he says, أَيُّنْ سَلِّ جَمَعَ مَعَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ That he will pray jama'a with the Muslims. وَيَكُونُ إِمَامُ مِنْ أُمَّةِ نَبِي مُحَمَّدِ صلى الله عليه وسلم And the imam will be from the ummah of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم لَا يَكُونُ إِيسَى عَلَيْهِ صَلَةُ وَسَلَامُ إِمَامُ إِيسَى عَلَيْهِ صَلَةُ وَسَلَامُ will not be the imam هَذَا تَكْرِيمٌ This is to honor لِهَذِهِ الْأُمَّةِ To give تَكْرِيمٌ and honor this ummah فَيُصَلِّ مَأْمُومًا He will pray behind as a muqtadi Somebody behind the imam until everybody understands أنهم لم ينزل بالشرعية بشرع أو رسالة جديدة He has not come down with new sharia or a new risala قيل معنى وإمامكم منكم أي and the meaning of the imam will be amongst you أي إنه يحكم بالشريعة المسلمين and the imam will be amongst you أي the imam يحكم بالشريعة المسلمين He will rule according to the Sharia of the Muslims ويحكم بكتاب الله وسنتي And he will rule by the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Prophet وفي السحيين أن حدث أبي حري رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم والذي نفسي بيدي لا يشكن أن ينزل فيكم مريم حاكما أدلا the Prophet said, "Sallallahu alaihi wasallam, I swear by my soul, by the one who has his 
souls uh, in his hands my soul how will it, uh, that day that isa alayhi salatu wasalam will come down hakiman he will come down as a ruler adlan a just ruler fa yukassiru salib and he will break the cross wa yaqtulu al khanzir and he will kill the pigs and this can have metaphorical meanings but i'm not going wa yud'a al jizya and he will drop the jizya wa yufidu al mal hatta la yuqbalu ahad and he will give out wealth until there's no one to accept it hatta takuna sajdatun wahidun khairun min ad dunya wa ma fiha until one sajda will be better than everything in the world and what is uh, everything that, that one sajda will be better than all of the world wa nuzul isa alayhi salatu wasalam alamatun min alamatul kubra lis sa'a and the coming down of isa alayhi salatu wasalam is amongst the big signs of the hour wa inda ma muslim innahu sayunzil in the manara bayda and he will come down according to sahih muslim in a minaret that's white sharqi uh to the east damashq of damashq uh wada'a kaffayhi ala ajnihi al-malakain while his hands will be on the wings of the two uh angels Okay so okay so this is enough sadru sunna uh uh sadru uh, sunniya this is the book in which this is written so this is one way you can say to look at it even though this way doesn't contradict the first way which is because over here the point is will isa alayhi salatu wasalam maintain his function as rasul of allah over here the point that is being mentioned is that he will follow the sharia and allah says in the quran allah is going to teach the quran to isa alayhi salatu wasalam because allah will teach him the book and allah taught him the torah and injil already and so and allah taught him the hikma which is the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam so he will know all the books of the past present and the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam so he will rule accordingly The point that I'm making is that Isa alayhi salatu wasalam will maintain his function and his role as a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without being part of the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. So now you've seen both sides on this issue. Even though this has become a part of the thinking of the ummah, but this is wrong and this is important to know because Prophet Isa alayhi salatu wasalam will come as a support for the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasalam. And he will come as a double role to support the ummah of Muhammad on the one side, but fulfill and to complete his role as the Messiah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the other. Something we have to dive deep into to understand the events that are going to occur and why he's going to come and the eschatology that relates to that so i'll just leave this much for today aqulu qawli hadha astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'iril muslimina wal muslimat assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh